morning welcome back to my channel i have just spotted that oh hit it um put some dry shampoo in because my hair is disgusting um but it's friday so i'll wash it over the weekend we've got a long bank holiday weekend so that's going to be nice but i put some dry shampoo in it oh i think you can see there it's like a big silver streak it's giving me even more greys than i've got <laughs> but i'm in an underground car park well not an underground car park, it's total lies. You have multi story car parks, it's very, very dark. Sorry, it's just coming up at eight o'clock, and I am at a completely different hospital today. I am about 40 minutes drive from my house. Um, I am going to the 136 suite, so really, really quickly. I I was here yesterday, um, I'm with the street triage team, so the street triage team, for those who don't know, are a collection of police officers, dedicated police officers, designated police officers and emergency mental health nurses who go out to emergency calls that are mental health related. Um, the calls can come in from the person themselves or from concerned members of the public, family members and all of that and the police have the power to detain that person if needs be, bring them into the 136 suite. So the 136 is a place of safety under the section 136 of the Mental Health Act, which is where a police officer can detain a member of the public in a public place and bring them into a place of safety, being the 136 suite. Um, some A&Es as well, or most A&Es as well, are classed as a place of safety, so 136 suites are full because you can only have one person in there at a time um, then they go to A&E if they're full then worst case scenario and very very last last opportunity um, that they, they'll take them to police custody cells which obviously isn't ideal when someone is mentally distressed but it's a place of safety and it's to keep the person safe and other people safe as well so if you are detained under 136 that's where you get taken um i was in all day yesterday there was no calls for anything other than a warrant got executed for a section 135 so that is where the police have the power to then go and and gain entry into a person's home because of concerns of safety again we'll bring them to a 136 we a and e or the police custody cells so a 136 was executed uh, 135 was executed yesterday but the the person wasn't actually at home so the, the, there's been alarms raised for that because the person hadn't left home for for some time which is where the concerns were coming from so um, th I think they're keeping a close eye on what's going on and are trying to find this person to see if they're okay so nothing happened yesterday really um, I'm not sure if anything's going to happen today I have just rang the 136 suites to let them know I'm on my way um, and they said as of now still nobody has been brought in so I don't know if it's going to be another quiet day but anything that does happen i will tell you guys obviously within reason and following all privacy and confidentiality and all of that i obviously cannot take you in and film in there for clearly obvious reasons but i just wanted to bring you along with me because i said i would the other week um but yeah it was 24 degrees here yesterday I got home from placement and I had shorts, sliders and a vest top on to walk the dog even, what time was that when I walked him? About half past seven at night and I was still in shorts and a vest and sliders and today I'm back in my fleece. Welcome to the UK guys, welcome to England more specifically. But I am going to leave this here, I'm not going to take my camera in with me again for obvious reasons. Imagine getting caught with a camera in a 136 suite even if I'm not using it, if they saw it in my bag or something. God knows what they think, so I don't want to get into trouble. So I'm going to leave my camera here and I'll see you guys a little bit later on. I'm only in till four today, so not a long day, but as I say, we are then off for a full weekend, so that is going to be nice. The weather's supposed to be a bit rubbish though, but I have plans to do some stuff with the garden because the garden is a yuck. It's not been touched since last year, so that is the plan, but I'm going to head off. Excuse me, I'm going to head off now and I'll check back in with you guys a little later on today. Good evening. I'm finally home. The weather is horrendous, however. I love it when it's like this. It's my favourite weather, rainy, cosy. And I cleaned all my house um, last night so I don't have to do it over the bank holiday weekend. So everywhere is spotless, apart from the blankets on the side because I've just washed them. They're wet, they need to be dried for the washing. Uh, the radiators are full. But everywhere is nice 
and tidy, but Arnie has decided to put his bones on the new rug. I know it doesn't look very tidy with the washing on, but I did put the washing line back up out yesterday the other day, but since then, it's done nothing but rain. So, having to put them back on the radiators, which I don't like to do because it blows money. Hello! But yeah, this is my new rug that I got from Amazon. That is not a poop, by the way. It's one of his toys. Um, and it was only £26.99. I do have my Amazon storefront link down below, which is an affiliate link. So the price of anything, like none of the products will change in price. Hi, thank you. Ready? Yeah, the price doesn't change. It just means that I get a teeny tiny increment of commission if you do shop through the links or through my store. Ready? Oh, he's too bouncy. He is usually very good at catching. Anyway, I'm home. Um, so, the day. Basically, <laughs> nothing was going on until after lunch. So, the morning was very quiet. However, it wasn't quiet in the office in the sense of nothing was going on at all. We had phone call after phone call after phone call asking if we can take someone into the 136 suite. Another, another person can we take them into the 136 suite. But it was just the nurse and me and I'm a student, so we are legally not allowed to restrain patients as students. So if anything was to happen, then it would literally be the nurse on her own because I wouldn't be able to intervene. So she said she's gonna have to wait for other members of the staff, but some of the staff hadn't turned in and it was just a bit of a nightmare. Then a member of staff did turn up and they said, she was like, yeah, we can take someone in the 136 suite now. Um, but the person they were gonna take was very aggressive in, at this morning. So she said she doesn't wanna take that person because the person who had come to help her on the shift was a HCA and a student nurse, but because they're doing the HCA role, not the student nurse role, they can help. But ideally she'd need another nurse there. So there was a, quite a few people, as I say, waiting for the 136 suite. So she just, she found someone else and she said we can take that person so this person that came into the 136 week was detained under a section, sorry I'm so tired, was detained under a section 135 which is where the police have the right to enter a person's property, I think I told you this this morning. So there was a warrant executed for a 135 to this person and that went ahead and then I left <laughs> because I couldn't stay longer because it would take me over my hours so I was gutted but it was good to see how it all worked. It was also good to see the nurse I was with um put boundaries in place and not let people be like tell her that this person has to come to 136 she was really really good and really really professional and she was like no it's not safe for me and it's not safe for my student and i'm not going to put either of us either of us in a dangerous situation this person on their notes shown that just this morning they have attacked the police officers and she was like so i'm not having them here whilst I'm on my own. If another nurse comes, absolutely not a problem. And um, then they say, like I say, the HCA came, but then she was like, but it's still not another qualified, which for a patient that's quite aggressive, well, very aggressive and history of aggression towards healthcare workers, she ideally wanted another um, fully qualified nurse to help with uh, being able to entertain a patient and restrain them. So it was very interesting. It was interesting to see all like the paperwork side of it, which I know probably sounds boring to you guys, but it was very interesting for me to see all the different sections and how they work. Um, but yeah, that was kind of it for my day. So I'm afraid it wasn't as exciting as, as I first put it across to you guys. I was supposed to go out with them to the streets to do the triaging on the streets, but the triage car that they use isn't in use at the moment because the suite that they usually use where the car is kept has been trashed by someone who was kept in the 136 suite. So it's just all been a bit of a bad timing situation, but I've enjoyed my time. Sorry, there's a weird bug on my <sighs> weird bug. Um, I have enjoyed my time and I did learn a lot and the people I worked with were lovely. So there is that. India's tea is just in the oven. I've just picked it up from my mum's as well, by the way. So I have not got out my uniform yet. I've only been in five minutes, but I'm not in a clinical environment. So before people panic and be like, oh, you should get that straight off. I've literally been sat in an office all day. So please don't come for me in the comments about, I need to get changed. I know I need to get changed. I wouldn't dream of it if I'd been in patient contact or anything, but I haven't. Um, and I haven't been in a clinical environment. I've been in an office, but 
sorry i've just ugh, complete brain fart at the minute i've just got some deliveries from amazon so we will open them together because i haven't done that in a little while they're probably not very exciting things but nevertheless let's open them i've put you down here to try and show you the things but it looks a little bit dark let me try and scoot you up here i think that's a little bit better these are all the things i did get the rug but obviously i've always put that down so and i have shown you that so, package numero uno Ugh, that's not ripped very well has it really okay what is that oh okay so I'll just put you back to where you was because it just makes sense so coming into the summer i don't like i don't like wearing a lot of makeup anyway i'm not a makeup person as you guys will know um and makeup isn't even covering my black circles at the minute i've actually got tart concealer on and you can still see how black my circles are that's how tired i am but i don't like wearing a lot of stuff on my face all the time because it aggravates my rosacea and when it's getting warmer my rosacea gets worse naturally anyway so and, and then i get a tan so if i get like a nice couple of days off in the sun i pick the sun up really quickly and tan very well so I don't like to put loads of makeup on. However, I don't like to go to work placement looking dishevelled. So I wanted to make a bit of an effort, but I just wanted something light. So I was talking to India and she was like, yeah, what they do these like bronzing drops that you can just put into um, like moisturizer. So I've just got some of these to try out. How they'll turn out, I just don't know, but I will keep you guys in the loop. But they were only a couple of pound. All oh, this is obviously from Amazon. Um, and I will put these on my store. But yeah, I think you just literally put a few drops into your moisturiser and rub it in. I, I think you can do it without, but I don't know how intense that would look. And I think I'm a little bit old to be going out with a bronzed face. So, that's package number one. Package number two. This is really not an exciting package, but you know what? It's exciting to me. Peg basket. As I said before, I've put my washing line back up because the other day, as I said this morning, it was 24 degrees yesterday. So I thought, yes, I can finally start getting, excuse me, uh, hello, get down. So yes, I thought it'd be a really good time to get some pegs because I have no pegs left from last year. I don't know where they all go, but I've just got pegs and a peg basket. So literally, there's no point me opening it yet, but this will open and it just clips. There's like a little clip there and it'll just hang onto my washing line and my pegs will be in there. So there's that but having the washing on my radiators like it's not even cold in the house and even though it's raining it's not a cold day so i'm having to put the heating on just to get the washing dry it's such a waste of gas bill and my gas bill is through the but into your tea one moment please sorry about that mum duties i now have the oven going off the microwave going off and the washing machine, so it's probably going to get really, really loud in here. I do apologise, but let me just get onto this last package really quickly before all hell unleashes. Oh, I've got two. What else did I get? Oh, I know what I've got. Okay, there's two packages in this last one. This one is not exciting. It's not exciting, but I need them, so... This is... My Brita filters for my jug. I told you it wasn't very exciting, but I do not like tap water. So we have a Brita filter jug and I did buy three filters ages ago and I can't find where I put them. So I just have to buy three more and they're not cheap, bloody expensive, but you can taste the difference with them. Then finally, this is a package I have been excited for. Just move this back. And it's a running vest. I don't know what this is like. I've just gone off the picture. Um, it was about 23 pound. So as I mentioned on one of my other videos, me and Leah are starting to train for a marathon. Are we crazy? Absolutely. Are we runners? Absolutely not. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, it feels very nice. Very, very soft. So this is obviously reflective. I think obviously it's probably not very obvious. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like like a life jacket <laughs> i guess it's a little bit like a life jacket so it's got an adjustable waist on both sides i got a medium just because of my top half um i just thought small is not going to fit there's a little pocket in the back i don't know what you put in there 
maybe snacks. Oh, snacks would be a good idea. Then um, clicks on the waist, uh, on the chest, sorry. One there and one there. Then there is a zip pocket, that's pretty good. So you can put your phone or coins or house keys or something in there. It's quite deep as well, actually. I can just put my phone and show you how deep it is. So my phone stops there. There's still that much room and I've got a big Samsung phone. There's a lot of room in there. And then this one is another little pouch. And then this one is for your water bottle. And there's a little extra thing in here. I don't know what that would be for, but... Yeah, so you put your water bottle in this bit and there's a drawstring so you can tighten it so it doesn't fall out. I think I'm going to get one of them like, not collapsible bottles, but like they're completely flat like that and then you just fill them up. Do you know what I mean? I think they are designed for running and exercise and stuff. So when you drink them and all the liquid goes out, they're completely flat. I'm going to get India's tea out because it is ready. And I'll speak to you guys in a little while because I'm going to sit down and talk to you about my access course really, really quickly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will do soon because it's probably in one of the next clips. But um, a subscriber has asked me to talk about it. So I'm going to do that in this video. Good evening. Okay, so. Oh, crap. I'm trying to balance you. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm in my pyjamas in my car. I've just picked Lee up from Jiu Jitsu and my hair, I washed it before I picked him up so it's still a little bit wet. Uh, I know, very, a very trendy thing. He's just gone into Morrison's to get us something for tea so I'm just sat in the car with the rain and nice and cosy. But I will talk to you really quickly about my access course. So, um, those who are wondering what an access course is, when you've been out of education in the UK, well, I'm going to assume it's for all of the UK, but certainly from my area and lots of other areas. Once you've been out of education for five years or more, you have to do an access course if you want to. Well, maybe you don't have to. An access course is an option of a means of education pathway to get into university. So I think there are other ways as well, but I can't think off the top of my head. I think you have to do like, I think like, BTEC or something I've got, I'm talking like I left school like 18 years ago oh my god 18 years ago I left school 18 years ago so <sighs> sorry if I'm not right with the lingo but I'm sure you can do like BTEC courses and things I think but you just to double check with the university what they require so always always whatever universities you want in to go to obviously look at multiple because you're not always going to be guaranteed to get into the ones you want to I was very lucky I got accepted at all three of mine that I applied for and then chose the one that I went to, that I'm going to. Um, but yeah, just check with a couple of universities that you'd be willing to go to what their requirements are for you joining their university and for what course, because each course will differ as well. So if it is nursing you wanting to go into, make sure you look up what it is that they're asking for. So my access course, it was called Access to Healthcare Professionals and it's done at a college. So I went to one of my local colleges and it was a year long course. Now, personally, and a few others that did the access course, I found the actual amount of work that you get in a in an access course so much more so much more difficult than my first two years of nursing school my third and certainly not my fourth because this is master's level seven that i'm doing at the minute but my first oh the lights come on first and second year of nursing school were definitely not as difficult as my access course now i was grateful for that because doing something so difficult like i did with my access course when i was doing my first couple of years of nursing school i didn't struggle as much as some that have just come straight from high school to college to uni i personally found it was just it was a good way to break me in for university for nursing school so at the time it was like hell on earth and literally one thing after the other bang 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 so for example in in nursing school we get one exam a year and it's different for every single university and um, we get one big exam every year uh, each year so in other universities you have a anatomy and physiology one pathophysiology one pharmacology one we do all three in one so although we only do one exam a year it's a big boy so and obviously they get more difficult each year like the in increasing complexity of of the questions because it has to suit the next level that you go to 
so we do that each year we have i think it's three assignments a year two to three assignments a year then you have your par document which is classed as an assessment then you have to do your numeracy as well not just on placement you don't just have to do your meds management on placement but you have to do i think it's called snap s-n-a-p and the a is like the at sign and we had to get 100 percent. i think in our first year we had to get like 80 the second year might be 90 then we had to get 100 percent in third year or it might have even been 100 percent the second year i can't really remember but that's what we had so typically let's just say we have two assessments a year par documentation but you do that as you go along so it's not actually that bad and one exam okay it's a big exam but it's one exam so that's four things when i did my access course we had like three exams and they were massive and we it wasn't on computers or anything we had to literally hand write everything in massive detail like literally talking about how like muscles work uh, along with like with the bones in the body and how they work with the tendons and how you need to you need to know all the bones of the body all the different joints all the ligaments all the muscles like everything it was really really heavy stuff really anatomically heavy but it was good then we had to learn about like molecules and we had to learn about like genetics and it was very very full-on considering it was an access course in college so we did th about three exams we had one two three four maybe like six assignments uh, five to six assignments and one of them would be like a more of a practical thing it was heavy going and you had it was pass fail pass merit distinction i can't remember what my university required but i think they wanted sorry lee's ringing me bear with hello hi, hi. so yeah we had all these things pass uh, fail pass merit distinction i think i think 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 my university wanted three merits four merits or something like that uh and like two distinctions or it was something like that I think like two of the assessments were not marked so they were just a pass regardless um, as long as you did it then the rest were fail pass merit distinction and I finished with a full house of distinctions I worked my butt off one of the other videos I will show you my sheet with all my results on but it's locked away somewhere at the minute in one of the cupboards and I'm not going to pull it out this time of night but I will show you guys but yeah we just had to do lots of exams lots of assignments we'd get multiple assignments to do alongside each other at the same time and obviously they're nowhere near as, as big and as like detailed as university but there was there still need to be quite high quality and a lot of information goes into them so my access course was very very good and i'm very very i'm very grateful that i did it and i'm glad that i did it because as i say it set me up for my first couple of years of nursing school and i did learn a lot of my anatomy and physiology mainly from my access course and i said that when i started nursing school i felt like i still up until like halfway through my second year towards the end of my second year i hadn't learned much more than i had in my access course apart from a few more specific things when i've been out on placement but as far as like the teaching at uni I actually was taught a lot more in the access course which is crazy we did a lot more pharmacology um but it was a very very good way of setting me up so that was the access course i did i don't know if you want to know any more about that i'm not really quite sure what else it is that you want to know what else it is that you want me to tell you but um if you can do an access course do it it's it's it flies by because there's so much to do but again how how much i did on mine may vary how much you do on yours because each college will be different and again each university will have different requirements so check what universities you want to go to check their requirements what they want off you for your nursing degree um check your colleges what their access courses are that they offer to enable you to get onto nursing and check what it is that that's entailed in that access course because they may be different to what I did. So I'm going to leave this vlog here. I may have some clips in at the end, but if I don't, then I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I know you stopped by. And I'll see you guys soon.